should I say hello and welcome? This is the intro. A sensitive topic first. I think we'll use this only. That camera. I've always wanted to do like a podcast slash interview thing, and there's a reason I wanted to start with two of my friends wearing black t-shirts, Sunil Gosavi and uh, Sharad Bansode. Sharad has his own vlog. Sunil was a YouTuber at a time. Now he's working on a feature film. We both are working on one feature film. The whole point from this uh, podcast is honesty. What better way to start? about being honest then the fact that dev actually probably doesn't know what he's doing i did not know why i want to do it like initially i thought oh, i'll interview poor people <laughs> <laughs> yeah he can he can he can it's not a funny matter it's not comedy <laughs> game oh, no no go oh, mera building mein ek dhobi wala but that's an inspiring usne, story usne abhi restaurant khol diya ab mere ko usko podcast dude i mean he used to wash cars in my society now he started his own agreed, restaurant but agreed but i'm saying that <laughs> you wanted to make that the whole thing of a podcast right? yeah yeah but then i realized and then i was really toying around the idea of why i want to do a podcast slash interview whatever you call no, I mean, this i guess i guess see the point is again coming back to you didn't know why you were doing this hmm. you know really thinking about this one fact which was bugging me and i discussed it with you too also which is why i'm doing this first episode with you guys is that i was i was always kind of getting concerned and really like bothered by the fact that how it's like it's a era of social media i mean this is also going up on youtube and then i'll share it on facebook but you know this whole facade of social media the whole you know like oh i am hustling i am killing it i am doing yeah. this i am doing that and nobody is yeah the pseudo hustle i love the word pseudo <laughs> not okay see but, honestly speaking it's hmm. not pseudo hustle the only point is when that's the only but you're, thing you're talking about yeah you're not actually talking about your struggles yeah you're just like, talking about the good part the good aspects mainly mein 15 din khali baith ke the 16th day you get a shoot it, you put a insta story on how you're shooting for a week yeah. but people yeah. will probably more relate more, more to something where you post about or you talk about how it's more of a struggle yeah. that's more relatable i honestly And, the reason why i feel instagram is doing better than facebook today hmm. is because you get to project your life in a certain way correct so like mm. i i I, so, i i i was discussing this with him the hmm. other day i said i had gone to cross abhi to i think sober center ho gaya hmm. i had gone to sober center around a few months ago uh, not months ago actually years ago and i had taken my dad's old beat up honda city hmm. Hmm. it was like One lakh eighty thousand kilometers gaadi chala. Basically, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not going to go. It had to go. So I went and I watched my new me. He knew me every time. I do salam, sir. I'll park my, I'll park, park the car for you. You know, like he was not understanding. And then he came with my dad. So he didn't drive. He didn't drive. Right? Nice. 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 I went, took the car there. I said, park it. Don't. Now there's no parking. Wala nahi. I said, parking. Wala nahi. So okay, park it. You park it. Don't. No, no. We don't do this. So I said, okay. I went and parked it and saying. Three days later, mm-hmm. I went with my father, and my father had a Mercedes in his business fleet that time. So we went to the Mercedes, nice Mercedes, and still the same guy, still no guys to park. Sir, I park it. It was the facade of doing well, being rich, being a certain kind of person. So I think It's a clean. lot of it. I think a lot of it comes from that when. Power, money, doing well commands a certain kind of respect. So Instagram kind of panders to that, and that's the reason why it does well. That's my. So basically, what you're saying is, it. let's say last 20 years of our life, we've yeah. seen status being a thing. We know. Yeah. I mean, that's why people talk about it. I mean, there is such a thing as status, right? Yeah. And before Instagram, Instagram came out, there was absolutely not a way of projecting that. Yeah. Even if, and even right now. Pro- projecting something which is not there now it becomes exactly. very easy to project something i mean how like it's a slice of life right it's just showing up small facet ki this is how it is i mean there are so many facets we never cover and i think today's topic is about that and exactly why i also am planning to name this dropping the facade because you know how many people are actually talking about they struggle the real journey yeah. they're just putting up the good stuff you know mm-hmm. so why not let's get real you know yeah. and this why of it mm-hmm. why i wanted to do a podcast interview this is where i kind of realize okay this is something i really want to talk about i mean and mm. then branch out into other things branch out into other topics right because the base the foundation of your podcast and this is where i mean whoever is watching this the, the foundation of the show would be why and the foundation of the show would be honesty these two things will yeah. always have to be like the custodian of the show If right. you're talking about anything, it has to be about why and being honest. Otherwise, what's the point? Otherwise, all none none of the topics you'll cover will ever really amount to anything. Correct. Because 
if you are not honest let's say if i'm faking anything i'm not going going to have the insights if i was actually doing that but the thing with that is not see i have again we've discussed this a lot on that honesty sometimes isn't tra- translate into materialistic outcome mm-hmm. so i get what i'm saying and that people value a lot people care about money power status i used to never care about these things mm-hmm. but that watchman who's a poor guy himself who maximum lives in a chawl he made me care about the social stigma of which car i'm coming in because before that i didn't care about the fact that i was coming in a honda city i didn't care about the fact what i was going in it didn't matter to me but when i saw that change of behavior in a matter of a week at tops that makes me think that that is what he looks for that is when the salam comes that's when he'll park the car no no so tell me one so, thing huh. is this that one week were you uh, happy for the thing you for the respect you got or were you Amazed. It has its perks. No, it has its perks. It has its perks. See, but it also makes you realize also. See, I'll tell hmm. tell tell you one thing. My father told me always. He told me one thing. He said, "Tere jeb mein agar saw rupee bhi nahi ho, agar saw rupee hai, but the samne wala things you've got like a thousand right. bucks." Right. Let him he, think that. Of let course. him think that. Hmm. Always let him think that because him thinking that will command respect. If he knows the honest part of who you are, he will ne- he will never respect you. You only putting up the good part of it. Why not put up the balance part? And See, of course, like don't lay out your cards. Don't lay out your cards. On my Instagram, yeah. if you go, I'm very real on Instagram. Yeah. I I I tend to be very real on Instagram because people followed me in the first place because I was real. Like right. whether it was my right. show, right. whether it was right. so on Instagram, I'm extremely real. But when it comes to meeting people, people when it comes yeah, yeah, to career, yeah. this that no, but right outside now, facade, it's huh. it that guard is always no. Up. But there's yeah. a difference between huh. facade hmm. and presentation. I yeah. I've put up a facade. I've put up a facade but, multiple times. But if you can pull it off, see now this is where I would say honesty comes in. If you yeah. can pull it off, it's you're not faking it. Put putting a facade like the point is you shouldn't fake it. Yeah. And it just for example presenting yourself in a certain way is different than faking it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like when you're going in a meeting, maybe you're not confident. Yeah. But if you're putting up a facade of confidence, that's a presentation this thing, and yeah, that you're really enough. struggling in your head to do it. Fair it enough. takes my, nerves. My, It's so, basically about creating balance about how you are projecting yourself and how you what you are doing in real life. Yeah. You can't just be like, okay, these are the good good parts. I am just killing it. I am hustling. I am mm-hmm. this. I am mm-hmm. that. But actually, like people think that you are somebody else, but yeah, कुछ हो नहीं रहा. Yeah. And that is something I think it's become like a trend. You know, like everybody is a star on social media. If you see. It's very difficult to know what is genuine and what is yeah. marketing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, but you know, even somebody might say that oh, you guys are talking about honesty, but you're putting this up on YouTube to get views and all. That is. So that. But, but all. I mean, but that is not a. That's not an facade. I mean, let's be honest. Here. Yeah. Like, One of the reasons. Let's let me let me. Watching I'm watching. I'm cap content. Are you? No, I'm cap. I'm not hard to. No, I'm capitalizing on being honest. Yeah. 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 Which is. I mean. I mean. Yeah. Let me tell you this. When I was on YouTube, your first video is never right. Your first video is always wrong. It's mm-hmm. always wrong. When you see this, probably two, three years from now, you've done like twenty, thirty, yeah, forty like podcasts. So you're going, you're, you're going to be like, what was I saying? Yeah. Was I being pretentious? And was I being pseudo? Was I trying to come across and smart? You'll hate it. This is where I yeah. think, if you're honest with the process of documenting and not creating, mm-hmm. two years later, even if you're like, uh, this is such a bad video, I ra- you'll rather you'll be happy I that you made this. Video. Yeah, you'll. I, if you see my first Sri Lanka vlog. I've told this to Sachin. It's crap. People loved it because अरे मेरे दोस्त ने कुछ नया किया. But apart from that, day one, day two, I've been there for seven days. Day three to seven, I stopped logging. I gave up technically. But when I made that log, it gave me that कि maybe I shouldn't quit. Let's try it. And after a year of doing it, now I'm in that space where I'm like, I'm so glad I did it. I rather do. So than essentially, not. this is why I wanted to have this podcast slash interview thing hmm. where we talk about this. You know? Yeah, yeah. Had you been just in Sri Lanka and you were like, oh. You know, yeah, touring Sri Lanka. And, you know, know this is. Of course, people do. Yeah, yeah. they're called. Oh, me, See now, okay. <laughs> we are not. We are not talking about that. We are successful, and this is what you should do. We are talking about. Here are three of us. None of us is famous. Mm. None of us is ultra rich. Mm. None of us is ultra happy. Mm. We are just people. All of us are in different. I wouldn't even say struggle. We are in different processes in our life. Right. Where, let's say, you are from point A to point J. Ah, uh, he's point A to point D. I'm from point A to point B. You can tell me about B. We can talk about B because you've been yeah. to B. We can talk about B again and stuff like that. We can. There are different points in our journey where there are going to be similar experiences, and that's basically what we're talking about. Which is what you feel no one is talking about. Exactly. But just on a lighter note, I'm at point F right now. <laughs> 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 
So I was having this discussion with Sharad yesterday and I just told him that you know like we are planning to do this podcast thing tomorrow and this is the first time ever doing something like this. I don't know how it's going to turn out. And I can already imagine some of my immediate like close Close circle, inner circle friends laughing at me like dude what the fuck are you doing you know. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? I'm pretty sure. Blogger and they will also. Nothing against bloggers. No, no. Fashion, fashion blogger they will make fun of me. Which is great because did, it did bother me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But, uh, but again, you're getting stuck in that same trap which these Instagram people get stuck into seeking validation. Hmm. No, so no, why no. are you seeking, seeking no, that no, is no. my question. I think, for I, I, guess, I get what you're trying to say. Right. But for him, it's not just that. This is one it's of It makes me feel like, no, is this what. really stupid what no, I'm no, trying I'll to do? No, I'll tell you what. When I, when I started my car rentals, which is a podcast in the car, hmm. I said this one line and this is where I think he'll agree with it. And I'm not sure, I'm, sh- I'm sure you're not this. Nah. Who am I mm-hmm. to talk about that? Correct. Pe- people don't think like no, that. No, no. This is uh. an internal struggle. When I started off my short film making career at that time, and I would shoot on a handy cam, I didn't know shit of filmmaking. I never went to film school. I never assisted anyone. I just knew I wanted to make a video. I didn't know what sound was. I took my father's handy cam to shoot his bloody trips on, and I would call my friends, assemble them, and make them do shit, and it looked horrible. Mm-hmm. And people would make fun of me. In fact, I know a lot of people at every given phase have told my father, what is your son doing, what is your son doing, what is your son doing. Now they don't tell him that. Not because I'm some super rich, well doing guy, I'm still struggling. But today I command a respect because I've achieved some kind of success, so they are sitting They don't say much, because okay, son will get paid, he does his job, he gets his thing. So once you start doing well, tomorrow same thing they'll make fun of, you know, tomorrow say, I know Devdi. Yes. So success is... The ultimate shut up to someone, that's why their validation should not bother you. But you, I'll tell you, what, but you, know, but you immediate a, circle is never your audience anyway. That is what I'm going to Exactly. So, so when I started vlogging uh, last year. I'm sure you also faced this yeah, regarding your vlogs, right? You said this one thing. People thought it's a fad. Two, three months ago. Yeah, I thought that Sharad was, this was like a fad. Like, yeah. chal vlog yeah, try it. Karte. Even I thought, I mean, I, so I never like mocked him and all, but I thought that he'll give it up at some point. Because I'll tell you what. Not uh, wasting time, like, he's just experimenting might not work out. Because I'll tell you one. But now I rest, like, I'm really like fond of his vlogs, like I watch it. Because I'll tell you what, your immediate Probably the only one. (laughs) (laughs) I have an extended point on this. Your immediate circle, and this is in my personal experience, your immediate circle is A, not your audience, and they have an extraordinary amount of bias in a good way and a bad way. Too much. Bad way to is what you just illustrated. Good way is also there. You know what happens? Like the, fo- the first time I put up my cover, the first cover I uploaded was Ajib Dasna. Hai. 37 friend of friends of mine shared it saying, what a talented uh, friend. Oh my God, look at his work. He's going to shine. All of that. After now, when I'm uploading my 200 cover, no one shares it. Right. But it's a, it happens. Like, you know, look at this rising shot. Yeah. They're trying to be there for you, be there for you, which is not bad, but and this is but somewhere it feels like they don't believe in you. They're like, it's, not about, chal- it's not about that. It, huh. It's about the might be now, my own bias. Both the good bias and the bad bias is something yeah. which is great. It's a part and parcel, but you should not let it interfere with your process. Because a most of the time they're not going to be audience, mm. and they have a personal. It's like you know you, when you don't know someone, mm. you think of them very differently. Just just think of the time the first time you meet someone and how professional or how unprofessional you were with him. And now six months later, your your vibe is completely different. I can I can tell you the names of your friends who are going to once the cameras. He can also no no I can you I also can name know, it myself. Yeah, yeah, you can also name it yourself. Who's by the way about this? By the way, I just want to I just and we know you, so don't try. But still, <laughs> nevertheless, but still, nevertheless, I'm saying it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, you do your thing. Kal agar isko agar like 50, 60, 70 subscribers milega, wohi jaake isko laye de di to apna hai. Tere ko shoot chain aur sirf main karake deta hu. That's what matters eventually. I really feel. When they see it or whatever, they like it, don't like it, you should be, and I know one thing, you're not, ob- you're objective about yourself, you're not like, oh bro, I'm the best, hai. you're not, you're not, your head's not Yeah, of course, I'm not doing this yeah. to get the, I prop, like, I'll be happy if I get more than 100 views, honestly. Yeah. yeah. You see, this is your no, first. No, I'll watch it 30 times. No, no, by, <laughs> by pure, <laughs> you're going to get 300 views on this for sure, because mm-hmm. this is the first video which is breaking your format. No yeah. one has seen Deep Deep in a talkative medium. So you're going to get a lot of views on this one. Your haters that, will watch. But you have to make sure that this shouldn't inspire your next podcast for sure. Yeah. If the moment that happens, you'll be breaking your honest, like. No, I mean, if I wanted to get views, I would have done that podcast on that poor guy. <laughs> yeah, dekho, garib hai. You know, Star Wars years yeah. ago used to do yeah. this. You know, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, years ago. but I just like. Like I, like we said, I really want to do this because this is something I feel from the bottom of my heart, yeah. mm-hmm. and I also love talking. 
Yeah. So why not do both? At what point, like, would you like? And why not try to put something out, something positive outside, other than oh, bro, I'm killing it. One of the main reasons I vlog, and some of the people who are close to me will know this. I I've had a huge public speaking phobia. Okay, I I didn't know how to speak to people. Even really? Couldn't. I, I, could, I wouldn't have never figured that out. Huh? I remember first time I went. I remember this was detour. And I had to speak about the film. Dieter is a Jain college <laughs> fest, by the way. Yeah. And uh, two of Shout my friends. Shout out friend. to Dieter for no reason. Shout out to Dieter. <laughs> and two of my friends were with me who made the film, and I didn't know where to speak. And I'm I'm two thousand. I'm like twenty nineteen years old. After left engineering, really skinny, totally complete insecure, ka bomb. And they push me on stage, and I'm in front of people, and I stammered. The f- I stammered, stuttered, everything. My voice was low. Couldn't do shit. Okay. Honestly speaking, till till two years back. I was that guy who couldn't speak in front of. You get ten people, and I would be like, "Oh, nerves cracking." It still happens. Mm. But last year when I started vlogging, my one of the top three reasons, and this is the honestly why I started doing it. A, I want to, I wanted to improve my speech. Even right now, if you see when I talk, mm. I take a lot of pauses now. Yeah. But like embrace pauses where I know, okay, I can correct myself. Right. My pauses have become better. My diction has be- become better. Some people might think I'm putting on an accent. But that's just because I'm emphasizing, I'm enunciating. Because and this comes from singing. Mm-hmm. When I used to start, when I used to speak early in college, people are like, "Why are you eating your words?" Because I would do that. I would, mm-hmm. speak, I would speak like this, and people said, "Why are you mumbling? Mm-hmm. Why are you eating your words? Breathe." And somehow through singing and vlogging, that became such a major part of it. Mm-hmm. Like you, you know how much of a difference it's been to my speech, mm-hmm. and that is one of the reasons I continue. So even if I get 50 views on a vlog, mm-hmm. doesn't matter to me. I don't get discouraged because my point is. To improve my speech, mm. become better at speaking. To understand myself better. If I understand myself better, if I'm honest with myself, then anything I do, I'll be even if I'm fucking up, I'll be like, okay, I'm fucking up. Let me just admit it. Mm. Let me just deal with it. And I won't be in that space where I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Like anything today I do, I know why I'm doing it, mm. more or less. Mm. So whenever people give me shit, I'm not, I'm unhinged. One more thing I I don't talk about is my insecurities. I never I never I never never talk about. I talk about it to my father, and I know people who can bring me back to earth. Mm. I talk to them about it, mm. but on social media I project myself like. Uh, but again, going contrary to the point, but I'm just saying on social media you will never find a flaw in terms of okay this is upsetting me, mm. because I feel because I feel like if a random person knows my weakness, not because I am. Yeah, I'm not. It's not like I'm hiding my insecurities. I don't want to be used against me too. We have to play smart, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a security tactic. It's not me putting up a facade, going as. It's just yeah. me putting up a defense tactic, and I do this a lot. Like I'll give an example. Like now, we are doing this Raika thing, right? By like, the way, Raika is a feature film that Sanil and I are working on. We have finished our narration, and yeah. we are looking for investors. <laughs> <laughs> If someone is watching this like 30 years in the future, yeah. they'll be googling this, yeah. and either they'll see something or not. Right? No, I, I, I no, wow! My parents met on that love story, or like, oh, what oh, the yeah, fuck that is that? Yeah. 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 It could be that, or like, what the fuck? It's is a very that? ambitious project. It's a very ambitious project. Now everybody thinks for some reason. Again, I have not projected this, but everyone thinks that Raika is going to come out soon. It's not. <laughs> It's going to be years away since we get a star to say yes to us. Mm. But every time when I see the glimmer of hope going down, because of the problems that I have, financial, actors, access, this, that, and all, whatever it is, that part I will not probably. Um, I'll probably tell people like, hey, it's not been the best of times. I don't know what to think because everyone you meet honestly comes and tells you, oh yeah, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. कुछ होता नहीं है. कुछ होता नहीं है एंड वेन यू डू दैट ना इट कैन गिव्स दम अ वेपन रेट टू देन लेटर अटैक यू सो आई प्रॉब्ली डू दैट टू प्रोटेक्ट माई सेल्फ टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट बट आई नॉट प्रोटिंग बट आई डोंट ट्राई टू गिव आउट रॉन्ग इंप्रेशन अरे अब तो कल हो जाएगा यू वेट एंड वॉच आई डोंट डू दैट बट द फैक्ट दैट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट इट ह्यूर या I mean, it proves the point. I am very not secure about the fact. I am very least. secure about the fact that it is tough. It's not going to be easy. It can happen. It mostly might not happen. But I am, but I am secure about it. But at no point am I going to let people know how what space is bothering me. Because if I go down that road, then people have no, then it's like tools just to like, attack me. That's how it is. It's like then you're looking out for sympathy, and that's yeah. not. To be honest, then like oh, come, come, we're saying safe, safe, safe spaces. Please DM me. <laughs> then it's that zone. <laughs> I'm happy that we did this, and I hope this gives perspective, or at least some people find this mildly interesting. Hopefully, mildly interesting is a subreddit on Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. We can share it there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know anything about Reddit.
we'll so, do a podcast on this anyway and reddit <laughs> yeah uh, now this is devdeep's first video and my i've done 150 200 videos just on personal channel so i know i have some weightage there do comment on what you think because it's going to help him with the process help me with the process help him with the process and that is one of the reason yes of course we want to be famous yes of course we want to be rich that is of course there but honestly i want you guys to really comment and tell us where yeah tell us what you think tell us if and we are probably talking out of our asses in some parts definitely point it out and yeah. and please don't comment first <laughs> no, I I have been on YouTube for years, and these idiots and I know they're going to like because I'll post post on my social media, and then they'll come. If you comment first, I swear to God, I will find oh, you. you mean like the punch like you. the word first? No, no. Yeah, they, yeah. If they watch the video first, they will comment first. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, who gives a shit? <laughs> and I've done that. <laughs> what if somebody comments last as the first comment? Nobody comments. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. There's no comment first, guys. I just <laughs> now, now at this point, Dave is gonna say some uh, line he never thought he'll ever say. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh God! <laughs> Thank you. Cut. <laughs>